Okay, so I have received a few questions from you guys on how to break this open after print. So I just reprinted this. It's, uh, it's quite solid. Also redesigned it a little bit so you can use support so the bottom holes is a little bit larger than the top holes. So you can use supports. So let's take care of those first and see if we can open it up. Perfect. That seems a lot easier than the previous design, so that's good. So now to how to crack this open. So the problem here is that the overhang gap between the, the rings and the top part might be a little bit too narrow. And for the, the rings to actually stay on the bottom part we only have 0.2 millimeters clearance uh, so it's a really tight design so what I actually did was just grab a hammer um, and I went around and just hit the design all around you can use a bigger hammer without uh, so you don't crack this let's see if I have something to put in between so there we go, now it's just uh, going on and hammering on this one. Let's see if it has opened. No, it has not opened. Uh, I can see that it's starting to flex a little bit, so that's great. That's the first step on getting it open. So we're gonna try a different route that I also did on the previous one, which is putting something inside these holes and hit on that so it actually tries and pull it uh, apart so we'll try that so let's see i found this so i'm just gonna put this in make sure to not put it on the center surface because the, the center surface may crack uh, so put it on the edge around when you do this so just hold this on the edge and try and hit it with the hammer so let's see if I can film this as well at the same time. Now it's happening. Can you see it? It's starting to break open. So there we go. These rings are for the uh, for the part below. Um, on the on the inside so if these are fused together as it looks like these are here that's quite a tight fit here might be a good idea to go over these ones and just try and and open these up so just a small hit on those yeah I hear a small crack every time I hit these ones so that's perfect So let's try and crack that open as well as we did with the first one. So let's put this inside and see if we can have that open up. Sure, something happened. There we go. That's one more layer. That's a layer further in actually. Oh, there we go. So there we go. That's opening up. Quite nicely so now when we have something like this open it's a lot easier to work with because now you can put a screwdriver or something inside between these small lines here and just break it apart maybe no, not yet but it cracked all the way around almost So remember it's all these small tabs that needs to pop off from the next ring so that's why we're doing this pull so we'll see see those over here 
you have those rings or those small bumps on all of these rings out so just take one at a time and it should eventually open up there we go that's, that's that one perfect and let's go for the next one So there we go, that's all the uh, rims and rings or whatever you call them opened up and uh, it looks really good. So now it's uh, just a matter of lift and then twist all the, the rings and then you can pull it together again. So it should fit quite nice into one package like this. Uh, remember, this should be printed with 0.16. Uh, layer height it's designed for that layer height otherwise it will not be able to open uh, at all i think i'm not sure the problem with maker world if you're downloading it from that is that people can upload the sliced files um, and uh, it tends to not be able to uh, be able to upload the the slicer settings for 0.16 it says that it's taking too long to slice the file uh, and therefore it fails so i haven't been able to upload any sliced files for this but just make sure to use 0.16 layer height and four perimeters uh, and at least five uh, top and bottom layers uh, and i think you will be able to crack this open yourself as well and make sure when you hit on the inside of this rim uh, hit on the edge and not in the center because the center part is the weakest spot so hit along the the inside rim here and the same if you turn it over and you hit on the bottom part the same thing here um, hit on the inner ring or the inside here um, so now now it's just a matter of twist it and sit on it. So you can actually do this in different heights depending on the sitting height you want to have. And make sure when you sit on it to not sit on the edge uh, because if you sit on the edge that's this, the weak spot so make sure to sit straight on top of it otherwise it might crack in the seams inside here. I have enforced it a little bit so it should be stronger in this version as well. But that's it. Thank you for watching and good luck with your prints. And I would love to see your make photos and comments of the design as well. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.